It's the King, King J, back with another video. Today, I want to tell you the reasons why I don't like Leroy in Tekken 8. I, you can consider me like one of the competitive players for Leroy. I, I've done pretty well with him in Tekken 7. And yeah, I'm not really having much fun with him in this game. I've tried out like a few characters and I can see the difference between them and this character. I feel like you can be super aggressive with other characters and with this character, not so much. So I'm going to take you through a couple things that I have seen, but it also would help if I pop up here. Hello, how are you doing? So, all right, with Leroy, this character, you know, they base is based around parries and stuff like that, parries and sabakis. But as you know, this character has parries and sabakis. In Tekken 8, parries and sabakis have been nerfed. And, you know, you can be get counter throws now where you have to break them under a small frame window when you get counter throwed, which is ridiculously hard. I still need to practice that, by the way. So it'll probably be a video what I want to practice um, at a later date. But yeah, he doesn't seem to fit this game. Characters, you know, usually have plus frames uh, and they're aggressive in this game. Leroy is not that kind of character and it's it's very difficult to kind of keep with the top characters, you know. You've got the Victors, you've got Azu Senna's, the Ling Shao Yu's and all those characters so far that have really taken a shine. They're really good and very strong. They've got very strong mix-up game whereas Leroy, he's got that, he's got the, you know, the down 3-2 which is 16 damage enough to damage from uh tekken 7 but obviously it's a new it's a complete new game so it's cool stuff like downfall one being minus six is horrible like i remember the time when gigas uh downfall one was like minus nine like it's like this minus six you're giving up your turn i know he has an extension which is this but it's horrible no matter what way i do it This could be duck. This could be ducked as well. So if we set the dummy to do crouch, let me show you. So it's just like to me that move is not great. I just I sit here and I'm like, uh, I'd rather just have a down. Even if it was minus three, like how it was in Tekken Seven, I would rather that. That minus six is horrible. And obviously he has new additions. He has like the back three, which is. A very good high move homing you can cancel it as well but the cancel is so slow but then I guess you can use it as a bait out to if people want to duck and then press a move so like you can probably do parry but the only issue is the parry window seems to be extended I don't know the exact numbers so people say that it's 3 to 15 I have no idea but it seems like when I try to do certain setups that I try to do Tekken 7 they don't trans they don't transform into the Tekken 8 meta of the game at all so like i'm pressing back to you at certain things and it's just not working uh i might do like i don't know down back four into up forward one down back four is minus four by the way on hit and if you block it's minus 15 which is an absurd change because you don't get the same stuff that you did with tekken 7 so like this is minus 15 now right if i just reset where the um where we going? We're gonna reset it back to center. Foot one. So if I now take it off crouch block, put it on standing, you don't get the full combo. You just get ground pound, right? And the worst thing is you can't even do like any like combos like that. That doesn't work. Whereas you know Leo can do like up forward two one, and then get the get then get you know what i mean the heat heat burst so you don't even really get nothing for it you don't get really rewarded for using this down back four but they have given you down back three which is a good low and the reason why this is good is because the back three is 22 frames down back two is 20 frames so it kind of you can it kind of can get mixed up with it then you got back four as well but back four has not that much range like how it did in tekken seven so it makes it quite difficult obviously it might be a bit hard to kind of like move from this move but yeah it doesn't say it's homing but it's got the homing visual effects but yeah this move is really good you know you gotta mix it up with this and then you're in hermit also as well 
obviously the back one plus two damage is i don't know what is going on with it but it doesn't seem great so like outside of the combo so like if i do this not that sorry if i do this it's like they expect you to do one plus two one plus two one because you can do that from this now but then I'm in heat. I feel like everything that with this character is, I have to be in heat and I don't want to be in heat. But it's like I'm forced to be in heat. So like, that's 45 damage before it's done. Right, so that would be the combo. You, you can't do the two two because it makes them go off axis for some reason, it's weird. So you do this. 44 but that keeps them in line right but if i do this combo makes them go off axis oh some of the times well i'd say 85 percent of the time it goes off axis it's, it's just not good so yeah this i don't know i don't know it's the scaling that i have a problem with in my opinion now obviously hermit sweet bang to be fair, every character seems like they've got like a move that's sweep bang, but it's locked into stances. It's out if you're not a machine that's doing hell sweep or anything like that. It's cool, it's whatever. Um, but one thing I'm really confused about is there's no launch anymore. It's just ballerina spin. So like it's it's gonna be hard now to kind of like I think when you're like here. You can do that because it does ballerina spin anyways. But on counter hit, it, it's, sorry, counter hit is still the same thing. So sorry, one more time. It's just three more damage. So again, it's another, I'd say it's another nerf of what he was before. But again, it's a new game. So obviously the down three to your plus eight. So from here, plus eight is pretty cool. Four, 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 you're plus nine. So this being plus nine is good. So you're gonna be using this move a lot. On block is minus four, you're good, right? So on top of that now, back one is 13 frames. This move is a, is slower. It used to be 11 frames. So it could counteract this aggressive playstyle in Tekken 8. But in this game, like, how? It's 13 frames. It's slow. You might as well use down forward one then. And obviously, you get the counter hit animation from this. which It's just a faster 13 frame. But it would be sick if, like, you know, he went into heat and back one was, like, quicker or something like that. That would be, that would be great. It does a lot of chip damage for sure, but it's just not that great. So then now, Hermit stuff, he got some new stuff. So obviously, with Hermit, he's got his 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2, 1. And this is hit confirmable, so you could just do this and wait until they get hit. Which is pretty cool, right? Same with, same with 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. You can just press 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 and see if they get hit. And then hit confirm with 1. And that's great, right? But again, these stuff are in heat. You know? Same with this. This is locked into heat. So I always have to burn heat to do good things. 4, 4, 3 is still good. You know, it's a good move if you block it. It's chip damage. So... You can you can abuse stuff like this, but again on block you're minus you're minus two. So you gotta be careful. You can do running freeze as well. Running free do a lot of damage. But you know he's running free, he does like a little acrobat spin that motion and then does a kick. So you can be jab floated at high level. Also another another thing as well, maybe this was not the right stage to choose that is I wanna show some wall stuff. Actually, before I even get into the wall stuff, I wanna show you something you can do with Leroy, right? So with Leroy, if you do, let's say for example, let's go and take it to the wall. So let me do wall, wall bound. So say for example, you wanted to do a combo. What's a good combo that I could do? Right. 
I got one. All right, wall bound. So let's say, for example, I counter with this. This is still in block. Sorry, my bad. Let me take it off block. So if I do this, this will hit the wall. Then you could do it again. And I, 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 re I really like that, Leroy. I really like that. So like, yeah, this move is pretty cool. Like, I use it a lot in wall enders as well. So I don't know, you could probably do 4 4 2 2. But again, to compare to these other characters that are in the game, like Dragon Off and all this stuff, their their combo, this this combo stuff doesn't this damage seems underwhelming in my opinion. So now we're gonna move to a bigger stage. I would say a bigger stage for me would probably be the Fallen Destiny. I, I really like this stage. So yeah, it just seems like a bit lackluster for me compared to like other characters that are just so aggressive in this game. Whatever they had in Tekken 7, they feel like they've been upgraded to Tekken 8. Whereas Leroy feels like he's been nerfed through the whole meta game of it. Of like, you know, parries and all those things like being counter. That like they can, there's a counterplay to it with counter throws. Plus his parry doesn't do that much. It does 30 damage. I think they should buff it back up to how it was before in Tekken 7. Um, obviously he has like the, the weak one. That should be, that should be buffed up as well in terms of damage. Because the meta game is really parrying is not great it has to be a hard read because you can get thrown out of it right so um so moving on from what i'm saying is all right so i'm gonna go to move this and show you the perfect parry for lira so he parries and says weak right and the damage is 35 if he does the normal parry it's 30 I think I think the damage should go from I don't know 35 normal and I think it should be 45 normal. I I just think it, it's it's so hard to like if people are like oh yeah that's too much okay let's do like let's look at um Zafina Zafina can parry and I think her damage is high plus she gets back free as well like he Libre doesn't get no doesn't really get anything off this once he punches you you're pushed away. So like, look at this. You pushed away, right? This one, you pushed away. So yeah, in terms of the tremor punch as well, tremor punch does does seems to do less damage. But it is where it is with that. But yeah, in terms of everything else. The cane, the mid cane doesn't seem to be that great. I've like I prefer the Tekken 7 mid cane. The low cane is pretty cool. I still haven't figured out a proper combo yet. And I like this side step one plus two. This side step one plus two move is really good. Being plus 30, they gave him something that's on plus. So it seems like to me, the general game plan is they really want you to be locked into this hermit stance, which is cool. But I wish they probably gave him something different because the Wing Chun style is so, like, unique. I really love it. And I felt like, yeah, the character, he's got the Wing Chun going on, but it's not Wing Chuning enough for me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I had to think about this character other than the stuff that I really said. He's... They changed his unblockable as well. His unblockable isn't called circle forward like that before. Oh yeah, and 4422 should be minus 14, man. Why is it why is it still that much? And I wish they gave him like a I don't know. Let me see. Like a singular move in this. Like it would be sick to give him a singular move. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I'll still experiment with him. We'll see what's going on. And I'll let you know how I do. But yeah, this is the reason why I like this I dislike Leroy and the early start of Tekken 8. 
Let me know what you lot think about Leroy. I know there's probably a, quite a bunch of people that watch or play Leroy on my channel and they might be subscribed because of that. Let me know what you lot think. Again, I'm not dropping him. I just currently dislike him and I can't really figure out a way how to play with him yet. But as you know, I always am labbing and I'm always am playing. So things might subject to change later on. We'll see. But yeah, let me know what you lot think. Leave a comment. Comment section down below. Emoji for engagements. And yeah, if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. There's more Tekken 8 content coming out. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.